good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good day. So I am Megan and you are here for some yoga with Everybody Yoga with Megan. It is Christmas time during this recording. Of course, it's Christmas time in Houston, so it's like 76 degrees outside. Today, I would like to invite us to have our meditation be about newness and the idea that the body regenerates, right? It's, it's becoming new all the time. I think I read somewhere one time that like, it takes seven years to like completely get a new cellular body, right? Um, I, don't, I don't know how true that is. But it also makes me think of the newness of, of change, of coming into the new year, and I invite us to come into a space of possibility. So that sounds like real, oh, okay, like I don't have a job, or you know, I've been trying to get pregnant for two years. I think what's possible? Um, I don't mean it in the woo-woo, you're not accountable for your life way. What I mean is every day your body's regenerating. So if you have been trying to heal an injury or carry a child and there has been difficulty in this task, your body is new today. How you feed and care for and appreciate your body today will help build the tomorrow that you want. Likewise with our attitude. How we build today in our mind will create the life that we want to have. So getting out of automatic thought patterns, like um, what always is this way, right? I'm a big fan of any time that pops into my mind of like, stop. What's the truth of this moment? Am I bringing what has happened in the past and making an assumption about the present? Because if so, now some of that is like good information, right? Like past behavior is an indicator of future behavior, all of that stuff. But if, if your response is not matching the situation at hand, it's because of something that happened in the past, right? And you're bringing all of that trauma, all of that pain, all of that sickness into this moment, when really all you need are the mental lessons from that lesson. So beginning to kind of tease that out within us. Um, so that way going forward, the body can say, ah, okay, yes, I do remember the utter pain of breaking my foot, but this is not a broken foot. This is just a stretched tendon. I can heal from a stretched tendon, right? What, whatever that is, my current situation is um, having still not come back to a regular job in the pandemic and living on pennies compared to what I was previously, right? Um, to be very clear, these are all Holly's things. I don't even have a house, right? But the past is an indicator of what's gonna come in the future only if I allow it to be, right? So the past two years, almost two years, this is done. This is the world that was. What am I creating in my body for me to accept the newness of what is coming 2022, 2023, right? Change is not always expedient. Anyway, that's a big long task to say newness. So on our mat today, we're gonna do some like funky poses which might be new in your body. And that is the point. Okay, okay, child's pose. Oh, I always have to kind of pop my back before I get down into it. Oh, okay. And see, that was a whole example right there. My body is just accustomed to my doing that. What if I stop? Will it need it anymore? I don't know. Okay. Immediately coming into your breath. Press up to all fours. Take your cow cat. So 
total of three. And pause. We're going to come into, make sure I don't kick the tree, right leg up. Turn your toes to the right, swing your leg around, and come back. Again, and back. One more time, and back. Toes point down, left arm rises up. We're coming into a reach here. 10 pulses up and down. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Bend and grab. Working to open the left shoulder, drop the right hip down. And release. I'm gonna have to turn around to do the other side. Left leg up. Turn your toes, swing it around, and back. Again, and back. One more time, and back. Toes point down, right arm up. 10 baby pulses. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Reach, grab your foot if you can, if not, Use a towel, grab a strap, a tie, something to help reach. And release. Downward facing dog. Pedaling out, pawing out with the hands, right? Figure out what makes the shoulders feel integrated. This is a new down dog. You've never done this one before. So if you think, oh, my heels are always lifted, today's the day, press down, opposites, one at a time. If you need to shorten the stance to get that stretch started in your body so eventually you can walk back into it, awesome sauce, do that. Right leg up, bend, stack. Wake up your foot. Come with me here, you've got this. We're gonna swing down and through, coming into our ninja pose. Boom. Right, these are all poses we've done. We're just doing them in a new way. We're getting into them in a new way. If you cannot drop the heel, lift up. Oh, it's a lot harder lifting up, let me tell you. Okay, so these hand or thighs get some open, some mobility. One more breath. We're gonna come back into our three-legged dog. So cartwheel your arms, rotate your back foot, right leg lifts. Beautiful, pause. Bring it down, left leg up. Bend and step. Coming through into your ninja pose. Working on one giant sweeping motion. As you're ready, cartwheel your arms, three-legged dog. Downward facing dog. in your breath. Lift the right leg up. Bend the knee, stack the hip. Flip your dog. Back to three-legged dog. And come down. 
Same thing, other side, left leg up. Bend and step. And flip. Three-legged dog. And come down. Breathe here. Right leg forward, ninja pose again. Gently working the knee back. So if you need to sit on your block, do that, okay? Kind of crawl to the other side. Same thing, gently working the knee back. Crawl again. Other side. Downward facing dog. Doesn't matter which way you turn, right? Who cares? Dropping onto your knees, we're gonna play with some variations that get into the upper back a bit and have room for possibility and growth. So start with both hands under your shoulders. Drop your left elbow down. So you're in this kind of funky tabletop. Take the right hand back towards the right knee. Work on pressing the heel of your hand down. That's very easy for you. I want you to grab or pick up your right knee and place it like it's gonna just hang out. So the right leg is floating on the right elbow. And then release. Walk your hand back up, press back up. We're gonna work on the other side. So first dropping right elbow down, then bringing the left hand by the left knee. Pause here. Press the heel of the left hand down, then putting the left knee on the left elbow, making like a table situation. And release, coming back up and up. So in that pose that we just kind of tried on, that's step one. Step two, you would float the body, okay? So the other leg that was really supporting your weight on the ground would lift up. You wanna try it? Let's try it. If you're still practicing getting your knee onto that little table on your elbow, keep trying that, okay? So starting with a proper table, drop right elbow, left elbow down, right hand by right knee, picking up, creating that table with your elbow and then pick up, come onto the toes of the left. And then release, back to your tabletop. Breathe. Right elbow down, left hand by left knee. Give a little perch, and then press up. And release. Coming back, moving back. Give it a pause, shake out the arms. We're not gonna press all the way up today because we haven't really done any upper body warming up. That really was the exercise, right? Was coming into a new variation of arms and legs, right? We haven't done this. If we have, it's been a long time. All right, give it some elbow, some shoulder twists, rolls, whatever, you know what I'm saying? and then come back to downward facing dog. No. 
right leg up. Coming to high push up, bend the elbows, right knee, right elbow. And then back up. Switch sides, left leg up. Coming forward, make a shelf, drop the knee on the shelf. And back up. Release down. Give yourself a few pedal outs here. Coming on to your back, just however feels comfortable for you. Pause here, take a moment, windshield wiper the legs. Arms to a T or a goal post, legs to 90, and twist. Always forget I'm by the wall. Settle into your breath here. to the center, other side. Come back to the center, bring your legs long, working your way into your resting pose. Inhale big and then sigh. Savasana. Coming back into your body, making your way to a fetal position. As you're ready, press yourself up to a simple seat. welcomes newness, acknowledges that same place in you. Together we say, Namaste. Thank you, my friends. I hope you have a lovely rest of your day and that you will log in for tomorrow's practice.